It's Bathurst week in iRacing, and today I've got a 40-minute VRS race for you. This must have been one of the most respectful but still engaging racing experiences I've had on iRacing. I was expecting this race to be far more chaotic. It was my first official of the week. The mountain always causes chaos, blocked paths. I had a terrible qualifying effort. We were in the second split as the five car, but starting 19th of 29. All the signals were looking like this was going to be an absolutely horrific experience, but it turned out to be a phenomenal race start to finish. Lots of great battles, lots of respectful uh, driving amongst everyone that I was around. So I had a great time. I really enjoyed this race, and it was probably the fastest 40-minute race I've ever been in. If you guys like what I'm doing, please like the video, comment, subscribe, engagement. It helps tremendously, and I hope you've been enjoying the shorts that I've been posting and the live streams that we've had. Thank you guys for engaging with my content and enjoy this race. I'd like to have something good for YouTube. See if I can finish this race. Respectful start, gentlemen. I love it. Must be second split. I'm guessing just based on the IRs I see around me and the fact that I'm the five car. I'm guessing second split, maybe third. Damn it, alright. I'm not on the mountain yet. Jeez, Dad. <laughs> As you send me t two chat messages. This has been a very nice little start so far. Very respectful. I appreciate it. When's that gonna end? Whoa! That almost ended. Twitch, never good for the uh, heart rate. Tires still very cold. Gosh, I swear people are treating this as if it's a 12 hour race. Very, very pedestrian start. Single file immediately, everybody. <laughs> Passive on the mountain. Thank you for liking that video, Dave. I appreciate you. It helps so much. Engagement, algorithms, computers. Alright, 41 degree track. That's pretty toasty. Trying to stay off of ABS. I want to attack, but I'm trying to be smart. I'm trying to treat this as if it is the 12-hour race. Focus on getting good exits, and I shouldn't get past. All right. That's the cleanest first lap I've ever seen in a Bathurst race ever. And I don't even think it's close. That was very chill. Could this just be our lobby for the weekend? I know I say all that, and like literally in about three minutes I'm going to get murdered. But for now, we're happy. So let's just keep it that way. Really want to be close to people. Feel a little bit of the arrow going up the mountain. Anything I can just to get some good practice here, I'll take it. Don't care so much about the numbers tonight. Certainly would like to keep my SR intact, but as far as IR is concerned, I don't really care. Temps are coming up pretty nice. Alright, looking good, feeling good. Thanks for the likes on the video, guys, for real. That's super, super kind, super helpful. I do appreciate it. Don't want this to be too much of a procession. I'm shocked that we haven't had incidents and 
you know, blockages and all sorts of stuff yet. Way too much ABS. It's toasty. I mean, it's 41 degrees, so what is that? 82, 112-ish? That's too early. Not bad. So really got a... The mountain is like survival, I guess. And everywhere else is where we might have opportunities to make overtakes and advance our position, I, I assume. Every time I've done the Bathurst 12, I mean, it, I'm not making a lot of overtakes in that race. It's just out surviving other people. to work on that little section. Oh, yellow. I haven't heard anything yet. Go to the right. Go to the right. Whew, all right. Freebie. Oh man, if I got a sweet exit, I would have had this man here. Still might. Oh yeah, the move is on, baby. Shoot, can't see him. How do you get such a good exit on the inside like that? Unfortunate. Good defense. Now I've got to play defense. Yeah, hit it. Go. Bang me. <laughs> Give me a shot. Go. Thought it was Daytona 500, man. Yeah, dude. It's been pretty respectful so far, that's for sure. Oh, he's going to hit that wall. Wow, how did he not do that? He's all out of out of shape there. God, it's so tight with somebody right in front of you. Holy hell. It's muscle memory. Dang it, he got a good exit there. I thought I did, but not so much. Alright. <laughs> Yeah, very respectful racing. Thanks everybody for hanging out and watching. Got seven viewers, very cool. Always nice to have some people to play for. Wow, he is hitting those brakes early right there. It's not that hot. This is a 40 minute race though. Speaking of which, no tires. Max fuel. Make sure all my pit stop stuff is set. Give me all the leaders, boys. 
Yes, thank you for the likes on the video too. Super, super helpful. Gets the algorithm going. I've had so much, so much success with the little shorts I've been putting out. I'm loving that. I've gotten more subscribers in the last 48 hours from shorts than I've gotten from long form content in two weeks. It's crazy. I've had fun making them too. Some I'm just, you know, hitting the button to do the thing when something interesting happens, but the one I made at Bathurst, I actually put some time into that one. A lot of fun to do. I enjoy that quite a bit. Yeah, shorts are cool, man. How you doing, dude? Nice to see your face. Nice to see your name, I should say. I'm sure we'll come up with a couple out of this race. I mean, just the, just those two corners. I mean, this guy went side by side, didn't hit each other. That's a short, easy, <laughs> for sure, for sure. And some of the stuff that I would look at, I'm like, that's probably pretty boring. I don't know if anybody's gonna watch that. It gets like 5,500 views. I'm like, damn, cool. I'll take that. Decent. Excited for news. Yeah, me too, dude. I'm very excited for rain. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Really from the endurance racing side of things. I haven't even talked to Peter about it yet, but I've got to imagine that'll make, make for fun times in our endurance races that we do. So we'll have, you know, just decisions to make and radars to keep up with and it'll be cool. I got a great spot on my map up here for a radar. So I'm hyped. Definitely hyped for it. Yeah, credit to my guy here. I mean, he held me off and then he's done a good job of gapping me a touch and catching up to the guys in front of him, so. Respect. I'd love to find more time at this place. I was so slow in qualifying, it was painful. I was doing like mid 205 or upper 205s. Qualifying pace was in the 204s. And I'm second split. It's not like I'm in the top split. Oh, you gotta just tow for that, brother. You're done. I'll read that in a sec. <laughs> Don't want to kill myself on the mountain. At least not from a comment. <laughs> read itself. Yeah, I've, I've heard the same and I'm very excited about that possibility. I mean, I saw people talking about the Le Mans game today. I think it was Le Mans. But they were, I think the comments were, were in reference to R Factor 2. It's like it's got puddles and it's got all this stuff, but like there's no hydroplaning or, the, or aquaplaning or any of that, like, it's just for show, it doesn't seem to impact anything, it doesn't change your line, it doesn't, any of those things, so, I'm glad they treated it like a real simulation, and I'm very curious to see how it plays out, I'm sure it's gonna suck to, like, actually race in, but, like, I don't know, I'm looking forward to it, I just think it's gonna be cool, I think any, any time, a conclusion to a very large and long running software like uh, process is complete. I mean, it's it's ex exciting to see what comes out of it. So, look forward to like different cut tire compounds and what. I mean, the tire model has to have changed to have incorporated rain. So, I think that's going to have some broader impacts. I'm excited for sure. I can't wait to be in the middle of Sebring 12 and one of the guys come over to our radio and say, uh, have you guys looked at the radar? <laughs> like, no, not really. Uh, it's about to pour. You should come in and get some tires. What? It's going to be amazing. And then we're all in a, you know, going to crash off in turn one. But you know what? That's real racing, so I'm here for it. If I could figure this out better. Oof. 
but I don't want to push too hard because then that's going to happen. I don't know. He must have hit that thing pretty hard. Caught up with him pretty quick, too. Yeah, you're you're right. I mean, it's software, right? People are gonna find, they're gonna find the optimal way to handle it. Whether it's like adjusting graphical settings in such a way that the spray isn't as, you know, painful from a, you know, graphics processing point of view. Gosh, he's got some kind of arrow damage. Yeah, it'll be something like that. I think you're right. But God, look at how much time we lost. Damn. I have to get him on this next straight. Good exit. Good exit, and he's got arrow problems. Come on. Thank you for letting up. Wish you had done that a straightaway or two ago. But I get it, you're racing too. But yeah, he's clearly got arrow damage. Now we've lost three seconds to the guys in front for that. I do love this track. I wish I was faster at it. Wow, we made up a second at the top of the mountain. Holy hell. Alright, loving it, loving it. Thank you guys for the like. I see those likes. I do appreciate it. Super helpful. It's nice to know you like what I'm doing. So appreciate that. And thanks for anybody new hanging out. This is what I do. I make a lot of uh, iRacing content. If you like what I'm doing, subscribe. Lots of cool stuff up there. Got some old school F3 videos, some old or older F F4 stuff, more, more recently GT3 Enza endurance racing. So if you like any of that sort of stuff, check out my old content too. Got lots of it. This one will be going up on YouTube as well, so enjoy. Not bad, not bad. All right, let's see. So we've got about six laps. Well, we have about six laps. You stop saying the word about. We have six laps before I absolutely have to pit. Just under 11 laps to go in the race. So probably hold off and pit as late as I can. Kind of like to do that. I'd love to get up into the top 15. Still looks like I'm going to lose IR if I finish in this position. Rip. Which wouldn't be the worst thing on the planet, but... I'd, I'd like to start going in the positive direction. I know I shouldn't care, but I do. <laughs> yeah, no, you're right, especially for this weekend. If I lose some, you lose a little bit, we'll, we'll go back to the mean for the other two teams, which would, uh, would certainly be good for us. So, I'm going to do my part. Right now I'm losing 13, so I'll take that. <clears throat> be nice to gain some SR. I do need that. Damn. Good job, dude. Love it. I'll focus on gaining it. I mean, honestly, I'm not really focused on it 
either direction. I'd like to gain it, but I've just been losing it like crazy having moved from F3, so. Which I think is makes a lot of sense, but it's unfortunate because when I first kind of came over to these cars and this type of racing, I stayed at like 3.2, which I was like, oh, that's nice. But in the last week or so, I've just lost a ton. So just kind of is what it is. I thought I finally got to find some good pace at Okiyama, but it took most of the week for me to get there. And I'm just not as fast as a lot of people at this track, so... All good. Yeah, fix Ferrari for the win, yeah. I enjoy, I actually did a couple races there, and I definitely lost some IR, but I... I enjoyed that quite a bit. Not having that first chicane is a game changer. It was a lot of fun. I kind of wish they would just always do Monza without the first chicane. Alright, so we're halfway through this race, which is wild to think it's already gone that fast. Ooh, almost lost it. Damn, this dude's caught back up. Guess he's, uh... Figured his issue out. I mean, it seems like he was way down on pace on the straights. Has to have some kind of aero damage after hitting the wall that hard. Alright, so got four to go. Minimum. And then we'll get in there and get some fuel. Finish this bad boy out. Ah, a beamer took him. Front right sitting at 96 degrees. Be good if I could calm that sucker down. 95 right now. Really need to learn how to stay out of the ABS. I, I do struggle with that. I mean, I know the obvious answer to that question, but how to do it and still be decently quick. Four. That's good. Hmm. Ninety three. Never really pay attention to anything like that, but it seems like it's pretty important in these vehicles. Decent, decent. Love to catch up to Jay here in 13th. So cool, man. So cool. I don't know what he is in terms of like, I think people have already started pitting. Oh, uh, actually, no. Nobody looks like they pit. Could stop early. Good exit. Just bad. Just bad. Love it. <clears throat> Still on that APS, man. I feel like I'm making some progress. A little bit, maybe not. 1.1, 1.2 still. Just double check everything on the pit stop. We're good there. Gotta stop touching that thing. Ah. 
swear getting loose up that little corner is the bane of my freaking existence. The dude behind me gets through there pretty well. Wonder if I should pit now. Hmm. Haven't practiced a pit stop. Pit entry here is ridiculous too. an audible right side, clear. On your right. you're clear. thought I was about to get hit with a speeding penalty there I put my uh, limiter on way too early Sir, all right. Let's see where we shake out. I don't remember the names of the people around me, but we'll find out in a second. I hate that I came out right behind somebody. Tires cool down a little bit too, which is nice. I'm gonna be stuck behind these dudes instantly. How aggressive should we be here? thinking about sending it well, I did say this was practice for the 12 hour and I would not do that on the mountain in the 12 hour unless there were very specific circumstances that necessitated me driving like a psycho maniac I got a feeling you guys are telling me to go nuts I haven't seen it yet though. I've seen some messages come in. Uh, struggling to get back on the power there. Not. They may be pitting. Good call actually. Um, hard to tell. Those guys are only on eight lap, on an eight lap stint, so they may have pit really early, or they must have pit really early. Why I don't know. Maybe they had damage or something, but yeah, they're on the short stint. A little bit of understeer. Took it one back. Let's see what happens. I don't really understand brake bias all that well. I mean, I get the concept, but as far as when to click it, when not to click it, ah kind of do random things and hope for the best. I should probably learn that too, huh? A lot to learn in sports car racing. I do want to see that Porsche. Where did he end up? Not great. Get on the brakes hard enough there. I've tried a bunch of different entries to that. I've been trying to keep it a little bit tighter, not try to. I don't know. These guys were going in pretty deep, went pretty late. Tired. Oh my god. 
pay attention to the track, not the tires, dummy. Gone too far with the brake bias. <clears throat> Do you recognize the name Quinn Smith? So if he's already pit, which he must have, he's ninth, yeah. Oh, you don't even know the half of it, Chad. Decent lap. Still can't get a 205 in. Come on. Good on fuel. Six tenths of a liter. Kind of keep an eye on that. Just make sure. I mean, we're, we're cutting it pretty much right on right now. Start backing up some of these braking marks. Tires getting a little toasty. Didn't get out wide enough. Too many other thoughts going on. Need to focus up. That was uh, real close. I don't know what it looked like on the stream, but that was almost certain to... I don't know how I didn't go into the wall right there. I don't know why I'm pushing that hard either. Almost. <laughs> Dave, you nailed it. Almost, dude. I'm getting into ABS just far too often. Or that's how it feels. Tire temps are still decent. I think 95 is okay. True. Come on, give it to me. Take it. Six minutes to go. Coming around to three laps to go. I'll have just a little bit of fuel for the good.
Decent lap. I'm definitely not good, but decent. Get a couple exits. Hold this dude off. It's tough to pass here. I mean, you gotta have a great run. Or have a mistake by the guy in front of you, so. Is that the Porsche? No. Did not downshift like I was supposed to. Gotta come in wider than that though, jeez. We're learning that my Achilles heel as I've made this move to these cars is my ability to finish. Finishing races has been a challenge for me. Make mistakes at the end, get a little too caught up, pay too much attention to the guy behind me. Just need to run my own race and forget that he exists. Easier said than done. Good exit. Fun race though. Four minutes. <clears throat> See if we can keep him behind us. 15th still going to drop a little IR, but you know what? I like that number, so let's keep it. Yeah, he's definitely forcing me to push a little bit. Decent exit. Catching these guys up a little bit as they race. how much time you lose going side by side right there it's crazy there's net code It's a hell of a place to overtake. Oh my god, but I don't regret him for doing that. You didn't really have a choice. I opened the door, and he took it. A shame. Whew, tense. Loving this. This has been like extraordinarily clean. Oh, I've got to run. I think there's going to be something to capitalize on here. He's going to have the draft too. And with all this, we've let the guy behind us catch up. Don't get any wild ideas, fella. Man, car feels super sketchy right now. 
very loose. How did he catch that? <laughs> like honestly. That little spot of grass is like death at this place. Whew. Tense racing, man. Enjoyed this one. Hope you guys did two 40 minutes. That went by real quick. See if we can hold off this beamer. Gosh, I had to get on the brakes really hard. Fun racing. You you made no mistakes. I don't know how I got you on the pit lane. Go there. Go there. Yeah, that's the right stuff. Well done, Mike. Thank you, thank you. That that was that was good racing. Man, that was good. Jeez. What? That's that's uh that hurts my feelings. I'm not not even gonna lie. Thanks a lot, Chad. Just out here, you know, giving it my all. So we were in second split. That was expected. Nice jump in the safety rating, which I guess at a track like Bathurst, that you're either gonna gain a lot or you're gonna drop a lot. Like I don't that seemed like you're just gonna hit like a five or six X or something. You're either gonna get like a zero or one X or maybe just a four X and be done with it. But a little drop on the IR, which unfortunate, but still working through these cars, trying to learn this stuff. I was the five car in the race, being in second split, starting nineteenth, finished sixteenth. Um, thought it was pretty good. I mean, just had the one X, had some really great tight racing. That was as I think as respectful of racing as I've seen an official in quite some time. And not to say that they're normally bad, because honestly, like, they're generally pretty daggone good. So, so yeah, I'll certainly take that. It was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed that one, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.